Well, hi everybody, it's Friday, it's time to shave. We're just gonna shave. We're gonna shout out our new shaving channel that's just getting started, Chad Shaves. Shout out to you, so everybody, check it out. I'll, I'll have to go find it and, uh, and put a link down below. So anyway, shout out, that's the earliest shout out ever. Chad Shaves, he started a new shaving channel, and I think he donated five five pounds. I think there was like a little a little little pound symbol, that little weird L that you guys use, and a number five. I got the five, but anyway, thank you, Chad, and go check out his channel. Let's, I always am rooting for anybody that wants to start doing something like this for a hobby, and you know, so you can see where it goes. All right, so let's shave today. So I took a shower, did my hair. It's getting ridiculous now. It's, it's like one of those birds of paradise plants, you know, Ugh, I need to get a haircut. I don't like it when it gets this big. Uh, uh, so we're going to shave. I've gone back into the Bundu box, the South African uh, sample box of stuff that was sent to me. Dr. Ed sent me a whole box of this stuff. I'm going to get through it all. I may not show you every single product because there's just so many, but this one is the Sangha Symphony. Those are those are a couple of one of a couple of long horns they got down there in South Africa, Sangha Symphony. So what does this smell like? Ooh, it's got that beautiful. I wish this was food because <laughs> I love that texture. Mmm, it's got a it's got a slight menthol to it. Look at this. It's like a friggin' oh, I got to do something. Shave this. Um, it's got a very fresh, like minty, slight minty. Soapy, but I'm getting mostly like a menthol -y mint, but not too much. So we're gonna try that. We're gonna lather up with this cool see-through razor rock brush, which is down here. It is a synthetic, I believe. Yeah, synthetic. I love synthetic brushes. We're gonna shave with the old Rockwell 6S. I haven't shaved with this in a long time, and I shaved with it yesterday, and I was like, I forgot how much I love this thing. The Rockwell 6S. It was the I think it was the first razor that anyone ever sent me, like to try out for review. So thank you to Rockwell for doing that. And since I've gotten their, their T2s and their, oh man. So I really appreciate you guys. All right, so let's shave. And go to Chad Shaves too. I forgot it. I put them in the, uh, I have a little notes in my uh, in my phone and I, I write down, I need to remember shout outs. And I forgot last week. So that's why I'm extra selling it. Not just because of the five quid. I like that five quid. But just because, just because. All right, let's lather this up. The Bundu Beard Sangha Symphony. It's just a nice kind of slightly minty. Nothing stands out like a like a note that I could say, oh, this smells like lime or patchouli. It's just kind of an earthy, um, yeah, I don't know. I, d I don't know. I'm sure they're, if you go to their website, Bundu Beard. I need to put some more water in here. Hold on. Hold on, folks. Hold, please. So how's everybody doing? Are you doing all right? As we creep our way closer to summer here in uh, Central Texas, it reached 90 degrees Fahrenheit already in uh, March. So, oh Lord, we got South by Southwest coming up. It's, it's, yeah, we got the rodeo coming up. We got spring break coming up. My gosh, all right, there, I put some more water. You don't want to have... You know, sometimes you watch these videos and they say, oh, your leather's so dry, your leather's too dry. It's like, what? It just means that there's too much of that solid soap and it's like not really foaming up. You are not don't have enough water to really get it to get those bubbles going. So just dip your brush back in. You can always put more soap on. Yeah, that's good enough. That was good enough for me. I've, I've slung enough soap all over my bathroom, the wall. The, the gravel bag that I've been giving away. By the way, congratulations to the two winners last week. I still got a, you know, you know me, I won't get that in the mail anytime soon, but I will, I promise you. you remember these? I gotta give away two more now. And I'm gonna put the, put a Barbasol in there, put one of these Jurassic Park cans in there, uh, cause I got a whole bunch of them in there. I also have the ones that are um, like rusty. So I don't know, you never know what you're gonna get. So I'm gonna hide two of these around town here in Austin. Central Texas area. I don't know where. I don't know when. I'll let you know. But thanks again to the folks at Gravel for sending this to me. And now my my youngest is using your scent as his cologne right now. So he's a he's a man of of good taste. All right. So let's show you. so the Rockwell Six S. I put uh, I had the blade that's in it now. I had it in my uh, Alpha Shaving, the titanium one. I think it was either that or the Pearl Flexi. And I had two, I don't like to leave razors, especially multiple razors in my, 
um, medicine cabinet with blades in them because my my youngest likes to come in and pretend to shave, and I don't, don't want him to accidentally grab one of those suckers and really shave <laughs> shave something he doesn't want to shave. Um, so I like to use them, or at least like I'll leave one. And what I'll do to remind myself, normally my razor's laying down like that. I'll, I'll put it up on its end to remind me that, hey, this one's got a blade in it. So two of them had blades and I didn't want to do that. So I took them out and I'm using it. So this one feels a little dull-ish. Like you can tell, it's a, these are all feather blades, by the way. That's all I use these days, just feathers. So unless I say something else, I'm talking about feathers. Fantastic blades, sharp, but don't be scared. Just nothing to be scared of, They're just a sharp blade. And in fact, a sharper tool is more safe than a dull one. So you know that about cutting stuff, keep that knife sharp. Anyway, so this, uh, you can tell when it starts to dull because it just doesn't as effortlessly um, go through your, your whiskers. You just can kind of tell after you get, after you've done it for as long as I have now, you kind of get that feeling. So what I'm gonna do is, because I got another one here from the other razor, like I said, I had the two with blades in it. I don't like to have more than one, just because I lose track. And I have sliced my thumb when I didn't know there was a blade in there. So I'll put this in the old blade bank. And if you don't know what to do with your blades, uh, just get a uh, like an old Altoids tin, you know? Any old metal, they used to have sucrets back in the old days. They had these these metal, you know, hinged sucrets cough drops that people always had, but now it's Altoids. So just get, to, get an Altoid tin and stick it in there. And when it's full up, you know, maybe tape it up and, and dispose of it properly. But uh, what I do, somebody, uh, I think it was my my friend, I think it was the Space Soap fella, I can't remember, Mike, that sent me this sharps thing, so you can do this too. Or you can just, like, take your blade, put it in the middle of a, uh, you know, either toilet paper or there's a Kleenex, fold it over a few times, and then I like to bust it in half, and then it's very small, and you can put that in the trash if you like. Lots of different ways. Uh, I don't know anything about recycling of these. You, I don't know if you can. Well, it's kind of an interesting... I like this. I don't know. Interesting little look. All right, so we've switched out the blaze. Let me make sure it's tight. All right, here we go. What were we talking about? My son and I were talking about shaving. <laughs> He's like, uh, what was it? Sorry, I was wanted to make sure I didn't cut myself when I was, didn't want to chat too much when I was doing my jaw. Um, are you talking about maybe running around the house naked or something? I don't know. When my brother and I were little, uh, we used to streak around the house back in the 70s, back when streaking was a thing. You guys heard of that? Streaking? You just get naked and run. Hey, uh, my brother, by the way, shout out to my brother in Colorado. He got hurt on the job. He's okay. I mean, he's, he's on the minute. It could have been much, much worse. But he, um, he lives in Colorado, and he's been like an independent contractor finishing these beautiful homes. You know, like he works on them, and he gets up, and he, he's always worked with his hands, you know, and loves the outdoor life out there in Colorado. Always been like, kind of like a mountain man, you know, after we all left Houston, and he left New Orleans after high school. He went to Colorado and just started his family and they all just like mountain, mountain people. It's really cool. Anyway, so he was uh, finishing a roof on one of these homes. So he was off the ground on the first level. There's a roof here and then a roof here. And so he put a ladder up to get to that higher roof level. And he starts to climb up it and realizes the ladder is going. It's like, I don't know if it was leaning back or whatever. So he pushes off in an attempt to stop himself from going all the way, and he lands on the roof there that he had the ladder sitting on, dislocates his knee, and that made his entire then body weight go over, and he fell off the roof onto a pile of trash, like the trash bin on his chest. So he broke his wrist, uh, he dislocated his knee, and he had to have stitches in his ears because something cut him in that big giant uh, trash pile. But man, I talked to him, I, I talked to my mom, and it could have been so much worse. He actually had to drive himself to the hospital because he lives in a small town in Colorado. And uh, for whatever reason, he had to drive himself. Uh, he went to the urgent care to begin with, and they said, you need to go to, to a hospital. And so he did. So he's, he's doing better, but he's going to be out of commission for a while. So you know, think, think about my brother for me, will you, if you, you got some time. 
send some positive energy and some love and thoughts and prayers and all that good stuff his way. And uh, it's a scary thing because when he was a kid, he had one of his best friends had one of those three wheelers. Um, you know, I think they're, they've been outlawed since the 80s. Those big motorized three wheelers with the big inflated tires. They look like, you know, big wheels for rednecks. You know what I mean? Now they got quad, they got four wheelers, which are more sturdy. But at the time, it was three wheels. And these things were known for just flipping over, killing kids, hurting people. Terrible. That's, I think that's why they outlawed them. I could be wrong. But my uh, faulty recollection. Anyway, so we're in my neighborhood in Houston, just your typical suburban you know, all the houses built in the late 60s, you know, streets, sidewalks, all that jazz, nothing fancy. Um, and we're all riding this three wheel. We're taking turns, riding it down the sidewalk, go across up the sidewalk. My brother gets on it after all of us have been doing it. And he's going down the sidewalk on the other side and he hit a broken piece of, of sidewalk that was like this, you know, it was like that. And it, and it made him fly forward over the handle. He's going about, I don't know, 20 miles an hour on this thing? I really don't know. And uh, he flies over the handlebars and smashes headfirst into a tree. And I'm watching this from across the street, like just across this little suburban street. And I see this happen and I'm like, oh my God, my brother is dead. And he fell in such a way that his head was under him and his legs were here and the three wheelers, I thought he was dead. I thought that was it. I thought I just witnessed that. and. So I, we were all ran over there and I, I, you know, I was a kid. I don't, I, and I think I, I, I had to undo the position he was in with his head tucked under and I think I kind of helped. And then he was, he was conscious and he was alive, but God almighty, they took him to the hospital. He had this huge knot. I mean, it was bad. And the doctor said, if he'd been going just a little bit faster, he would have died. And so once again, if... He's cheated. <laughs> really, really, really bad injury. So please, I love you, brother. Don't do that anymore. We're both getting too old to be climbing up ladders on the second story roofs to third stories. Oh my gosh. So anyway, oh man, yeah. Forgot about that. It just came rushing back to me. <laughs> okay, so let's finish this last one and then we'll just get on our way. I gotta go walk the dog. I gotta get some, something to eat. Gotta get something for lunch. I like to treat myself just a little bit on Friday afternoons, you know. Get the shaving video done, get the get all the stuff you gotta get done done. And then you can have fun. Do what needs to be done, and then you can have fun. That's my motto. I'm trying to make it stick. I don't think it will. But yeah. Alright. I kind of got lost when I was doing, telling that story about my brother getting hurt and started shaving the third, you know. I've got a couple of nicks there. I'm not being very careful. I'm kind of getting, you know, I got a little bit lost and caught up in that story. So I wasn't paying attention. My fault, my fault. So every product I've tried from this Bundu Beard Company has been good. I think it's all real natural stuff. It's down there, South African stuff. So thank you again, Dr. Ed, for sending that. I never, I'm, I call him Dr. Ed. <laughs> I believe he's a dentist, DDS, if I'm not mistaken, and I could be. Um, always admit it when you're wrong, folks. Even though it's going to hurt your feelings, you're going to be embarrassed, just admit it. It's way better than trying to cover your, cover your butt, you know what I mean? Pardon my French. Uh, swallow your pride, admit you're wrong, and move on. You'll be fine. Believe me, people will respect you a lot more if you do that. But you gotta find it within yourself. It's tough. It's easier said than done. Okay. You know, I feel a little bit of a stinginess here. I'm gonna put on, I don't say the asphalt, the alum. I tell you, if, if later on in my life I find out that I have some sort of brain tumor of some sort in a certain part of my brain that will not allow me to remember usually celebrities' names, I will not be surprised. There's just, there's, I, I, I've mapped out, you know, when you're in your thinking, you kind of, you always reach at one point, whether it's with mathematics or spelling or whatever you're doing, you, you just, there's always that one little speed bump in your brain. It's like, hmm, no part right there. I think you could use some work. It's not up to snub. I feel like I've got something like that. 
And maybe I do. Hey, you know, our bodies are extremely fragile. It doesn't take much to mess them up. But at the same time, at the same time, there's so many things going on in our bodies at all times that we aren't even aware of and they're working just fine. You know, that's what I need to focus on. Not the things that aren't working or the speed bumps, but the things that are, I'm gonna think about those instead. <sighs> it's all coping mechanisms, folks, but try to find a healthy coping mechanism. Like don't drink too much and don't do drugs and, and you know, and, and, and hurt yourself and do all that stuff, you know? Everything in moderation, including moderation, as I always say, I don't know why this is turning into Mr. Poetry philosophy time. All right, let's wash off and get out of here. I feel like I'm embarrassing myself now. Okay, that's good enough. And if there's some little bloody spots, that's okay. It just remind me of the fun I had hanging out with y'all. So the Rockwell 6S with a feather blade, fantastic. You don't have to get the 6S, uh, but it's stainless and it's got a nice matte finish. That matte finish, I think, uh, makes a big deal, makes a big difference. I'd like to try a non-matte, Rockwell 6S, if it comes in that, just to see if, because I feel like the, the matte quality of the safety bar, you know, right below the blade, there's, it gives it just a bit of drag, which I feel like gives you just a bit more control. It just feels solid, you know, like in a, in a sports car, when you've got that sort of, uh, you know, more stiff suspension, you know what I'm talking about? Sports car enthusiasts, anyone, right? I don't have one either. I got a Honda. Barbasol 1919, American made. Aftershave balm, I love the smell of this stuff. They've got the same scented shaving cream, non-foaming, uh, non, you know, no brush, no brush needed. Brushless, as they always say. This stuff smells so good. I haven't spoke with my friends over at Barbasol in a while. It's been a couple of years now. So hopefully they'll come out with something else cool. Actually, well, they sent me the Barbasol can, of course. What am I thinking? I'm terrible. Yeah, they did send me this, but like I haven't spoken to, my, to them uh, on the phone. So hopefully they'll call me sometime soon. They'll call me. See what's going on. I need to go up there to, to Dublin, Ohio. That's Dublin, Ohio, is that right? The Perio company, which runs Barbasol. I need to get up there, visit you guys, and uh, get on that uh, golf team. Put me as an amateur. Because if I can break 100, I'm doing good. Not bad for somebody that never golfs. You can say that when you don't golf. <laughs> All right. So we got the 19 on. We got the we got the thing. We got the Sangha Symphony from Bundu Beard. And we got Chad Shaves. Go check out his channel. I'll go try to find it and link it down below. If not, you go find it. Why don't you for once? See, everybody got to give you links all of a sudden. All right, everyone. Have a great weekend. I'm going to go get even more silly probably. See ya.